The microbrewing collaboration has taken a huge step to solving one of neutrino physics' biggest mysteries. I'm Kirsty Duffy, I'm a neutrino physicist at the Queen's College, University of Oxford and physics coordinator of the microbrewing collaboration, and I am so excited to tell you about it. Now, neutrinos are the most important particle you've never heard of. They are absolutely everywhere. About 100 billion pass through your thumbnail every second, but they almost never interact with anything. Almost. When they do interact, it turns out neutrinos are very interesting. Previous neutrino discoveries have turned our understanding of particle physics on its head, showing us that the standard model, our best understanding of how the universe is built, is incomplete. More recently, some anomalous experimental results have made some scientists wonder if there could be even more out there in the neutrino space, perhaps a new type of neutrino called a sterile neutrino. Remember I said neutrinos almost never interact? A sterile neutrino would literally never interact. So the only way you could detect it is through how it mixes with the neutrino types we can see, occasionally. The data was pretty unclear though. Some experiments saw signals, some didn't, and the ones that did see signals were often inconsistent with each other. This is where Microboon comes in. Microboon is a neutrino detector based at Fermilab that uses liquid argon detector technology to measure the charged particles produced when neutrinos interact. The experiment was built to test these anomalies. Our new measurement has just been published in Nature. For the first time, we have combined different sterile neutrino signals in one measurement, using measurements from two neutrino beams in the same detector. Now that two beam part is important because if you only have one beam, it could be possible for two different sterile neutrino signals to cancel each other out. So it looks like there's nothing there when actually there is. With two beams, that's not possible and we can really go sterile neutrino hunting. When we do, what we see is no sterile neutrinos. And that's still exciting because we're able to rule out the simple sterile neutrino explanation of those anomalies at a statistical confidence level of 95%. It's also a huge demonstration of the power of liquid argon neutrino detectors to do precision measurements, which we'll do more of with a short baseline neutrino program at Fermilab and eventually the deep underground neutrino experiment, a next generation experiment we're building now. What does it mean for the future? Well, if sterile neutrinos are out there, it means they're a little more complicated and hiding a little better than originally thought. Or it could mean there's something else going on that led to those anomalous results. Either way, this is a huge step forward and means there's even more exciting work to do understanding the mysteries of neutrinos.